Right, uh, in this video we are going to go through the process of receiving payment. So I'm assuming that we have sold your, to a customer on credit, uh, so you want to receive the payment. So you can go to accounting, then you click on payment entry, and then you click on add payment entry. So we can set up our books of accounts. Uh, where we want the payment to be going from but by default we are going to use the default account that is going to be there mode of payment we are going to remain as cash type here we are going to be receiving so here we can receive payment from customers we can also do payments to our suppliers or we can do internal transfers between our banks internally let's say we have got two banks uh, we have got CBZ bank we have got uh, we have got Echo Bank, we can do transfers between those branches, those banks. So in this case, we are receiving payment from a customer. Party type, you enter it's a customer. So you just type CU, click on customer. Party, this is the name of the customer. So Meso, I click on Meso there. I scroll down, I go under accounts. So under accounts, is showing us $95. Uh, I want, I want to enter the amount that is going to be paid. The customer is going to pay $90. So I click here, just click here somewhere. You can also click on get outstanding invoice so that you can see which invoice do you want to do the payment for. But in this case, since there is only one invoice, it's going to allocate just to that one invoice. After this, you can just click on save. Then you click on submit. If you want to print, you can just click on print again. So that's it for payment.